Hi, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install your um, two and a half inch SATA notebook hard drive into an external enclosure. There are a lot of reasons for you doing this. It may be the fact that your um, laptop has broken and you've still got all your data on the old hard drive and you're wanting to get the data off of it. Now, normally in that case it would cost a lot of money to take it to a computer repair shop, whereas with this alternative I'm going to show you, you can get these cases for £10 or less. Um, you take the hard drive out yourself and then you put the, put the hard drive into the case. Um, it may also be the fact that you are getting rid of your old laptop, but you still want to use the old hard drive as a portable one for backing up your, for backing up any data. And again, you can do this. It's a simple setup. It plug. It's a USB port. What a lot of manufa laptop manufacturers do, however, and this one is from an old HP, is they put this adapter on top of the hard drive, which means that when you get your enclosure, and the adapter goes on, it doesn't actually. See that there, it doesn't actually fit in. Now, obviously, um, I had this problem at the start as well. I couldn't find any videos or documentation on the internet about how to get around this problem, and it was actually by chance that I discovered that this wee adapter is not actually glued or soldered down, it comes right off just like that. And you don't actually need this adapter anymore. I've kept it in the off chance that. If I, I doubt I would ever put this back into a laptop again, it is a it's only a three hundred and twenty gigabyte one, and with SSD um, drives becoming more and more popular, the need for this adapter now because many SSD drives they plug right into the laptop connector with that without the wee adapter, but you can always keep the adapter if you like. Um, so now with the well, now that this adapter is gone, keep it if you would like, um, I just kept it as a spare part for whatever reason, um, in case it's ever needed. Then, find which way around it goes for your hard drive adapter, and obviously this way is the wrong way around. It, you should be able to tell with the wee prongs it's the wrong way around. Put it around this way instead, in fact turn it around so it's easier to see the pins. Just in like this. Now what you want to do, because these um, these enclosures are very well um, put together, but because, I'll just show you here, the pins on them are still very fragile on the solder points, and you're, obviously you're not wanting to break them because that would be pretty damaging to, it would not work, it could end up shorting out the hard drive as well. So you just want to push it in gently. No, that is this way around, you should be able to tell as well which way around it is because, let's to get my screwdriver again these grooves here and here should match up when you're putting it in so just slide it in nice and gently just like that and that's it, that's the you could run the hard drive like this just now as it is all you would do is plug in a cable onto the USB port here and then plug the other end into your PC. Now these USB cables, these are tri, tri USB cables. Um, plug one end into the enclosure and then the other two, depending on the requirements of your laptop, you plug the other two ports into your laptop. Um, for most modern laptops you only need to plug it into one port, some you need to plug it into two. Okay, and then for the drive itself, just slide the drive in. It doesn't much it doesn't matter which way around it's oriented. Just in like that, fits in nice and snug. And then put in the screw there. And there. And that's it. That's all you need to do to make your very own portable um hard drive. Um rather than spending a fortune. You're always better to recycle an old drive by using one of these cases rather than going out um and spending fifty, sixty pounds on a brand new hard drive. I'm also under the impression as well that if you had to get a, an SSD, a two and a half inch SSD, um, because it is a because it is a SATA because it is a SATA um, port on this this drive, but it's also a SATA port on an SSD. You could theoretically use one of these enclosures to. Um, carry around uh, to make your very own portable uh, solid state drive as well but I'm not quite sure 
how fast the drive should be. Um, I would, this is a USB 2 um, enclosure. I would suggest you go for a USB 3 enclosure if your laptop supports a USB 3. But anyway, thank you for watching, and if you've got any questions, um, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer them. Thank you. Bye-bye.